beautiful people. So I was just live for half an hour. And for the first time ever, it seems like I broke the internet and the live just stopped and disappeared out of nowhere. And I wasn't able to save it. And I was sharing about the importance of thinking for ourselves, especially nowadays with the age of information and social media and the bombardment of information that we are constantly dealing with in our lives. It's so important that we think for ourselves that we have our own values and preferences and discernment to feel into what is our truth, what resonates for us, and how we want to live our lives, right? And I was also sharing about the importance of taking action before we feel ready. If we wait to feel ready to take action, we might wait forever. Sometimes people like postpone their dreams and postpone taking action because they are afraid, because they just don't feel ready, because they have anxiety or fear or whatever come up. But what if those things only disappear when you do take action? What if you're waiting for someone else to come save you, for a sign from the universe, but the universe is just waiting on you? And especially like for spiritually awakened people and... Uh, especially for spiritually awakened people and all of that, Sometimes it seems like people are waiting for a savior. They are waiting for an answer. They are waiting for a sign. They are waiting for the spirit guides, the angels, the aliens, whatever. But what if the aliens, the angels, the spirit guides, the universe is waiting on you? What if we keep putting our power to, up? What if we keep putting our power away by consuming information that comes from other people all the time over and over again? What if we are giving our power away by waiting for the universe to give us a sign when the universe is always pointing to us saying, you're ready, you're there, you're worthy. You take action, you go first. Sometimes we wait to, to get some sort of answer or feedback or result in our lives before we move forward. But what if our dreams, our goals, our results are waiting for our own action? And you know what? In the age of information, it's like we have all of this information in our brain. But until you actually take action and move your body and do the thing, there's no point in having all of this information. Not just that there is no point, but it can be overwhelming and very like stressful for your nervous system and for your body. It's too much. So in the age of information where you are consuming trillions and trillions and trillions and gazillions of bits of information all the time. How are you integrating that knowledge? How are you integrating that information? How are you embodying it and taking action? You know, what's the point? It's like, imagine for example, being someone who is unhealthy, like physically unhealthy, like I don't want to trigger anyone, but like they are like physically unhealthy and they know, for example, like eating healthier or going to the gym would help them. What is the point of knowing all of that if you're not taking action on it? What's the point of knowing you should wake up early, uh, eat healthier, uh, try new things, move your body, whatever. If you're not, if you're not doing any of those, what's the point? You're literally just bombarding your system and your brain with information, but because you're not taking action, it gets to a point where it's too overwhelming. And then you are overthinking and you are postponing and delaying that, which you know you need to do. Because guess what? You don't need to watch more videos. You don't need to read more books. You just need to apply what you already know. That's just it. You don't need to read any books. You don't need to watch any more podcasts. You don't need to ask anyone else for anything. You just need to actually take action on the things you know you need to do. That's all. 
until the information goes down from your mind into your body, it's not embodied. And because it's not embodied, it will get to a point where it's overwhelming. So for many years, I knew like, that I was called to share online, for example. And I let these fears and these blah, blah, blahs of like, oh, I'm waiting for a sign or I'm waiting to feel ready or I'm waiting, whatever. And I kept postponing my action until it got to a point where I was like, wait, but I know I'm ready. I know I'm meant to do this. I feel it. I know it. So let me show up even when it's cringy. When I started, it was super cringy. But I did start and now it's kind of completely normal and natural for me to come here and speak to you. But it's because I moved despite of the fear. I moved despite of the anxiety. I moved despite of not feeling ready. Because it's the same thing. It's like you're waiting for the universe to give you a sign to show you you're ready. Meanwhile, there you are, fully ready and equipped, waiting for something to confirm that to you. What if that's not how the universe works? What, what if that's not how life works? What if the way life works is you go first, the universe responds, you go first, the results come in, you go first and things start happening. Instead of you waiting like to be ready, to ask for your guides for more clarity, to, to like wait and postpone and wait and postpone and wait and postpone and wish and dream and see other people and consume information. Maybe I need to read more books. Maybe I need to listen to more podcasts. Maybe I need to learn more. No, please stop it. I know it's the age of Aquarius and it's the age of information, but you don't need more information. You need more action. You don't need to consume more information. You just need to take action on the things you already know. That's what makes us feel so frustrated and so blocked and stuck is because we have so much information that we are not applying. So of course you're going to feel stuck. Of course you're going to feel overwhelmed. Of course you're going to feel not ready. Of course it's going to be too much. Of course you're not going to be in your power because you're waiting for someone else to give you permission. You're waiting for someone else to give you a sign. You're waiting for someone else to tell you that you're ready and worthy and confident. You don't become confident by waiting. You become confident by taking action. And maybe in the beginning it's cringy. Maybe in the beginning you're trying to talk and nothing comes up. Maybe in the beginning you're scared to do the thing, but you go and you learn along the way. It's like starting a new sport. You're, you might be kind of really bad for a while, but then you get better. Recently I started playing paddle. And even though I was kind of good at badminton and other sports, when I started like playing pad, I was like, oh, I'm actually kind of really bad, like really, really bad. Like uh, someone made a video of me and I watched myself and I was like, oh my God, that's, that's just really bad. And I was like, but that's, that's okay. Like I'm learning and I'm having so much fun with it. And I'm enjoying like spending this time with these people that I love and I'm enjoying like getting better, you know, like, but if I waited to like feel ready or be a good player to start playing, I would wait forever because at some point I just need to play. And only when I started playing more, I started to become, to become a better player. It's kind of so basic. It's like, imagine you want to learn today to speak a new language. When you start, you're going to be really bad at it. You're not going to know like what to say, how to pronou like pronounce the words. Like you're going to make a fool of yourself probably. But the only way for you to become confident and for you to be ready is for you to do it more and more and more and more and more. And then you become more confident and it flows more naturally. It's like playing an instrument. If you don't know how to play an instrument and you want to learn, you need to take action. You need to grab the thing and play it. You can't, well, you can, there, there is exception, there are exceptions, but like you can't meditate your way into knowing how to play an instrument or a sport. Of course, you can use meditation to help you be better. Yes, that, that is also there. That actually works. 
but you need to actually play it. You need to play the guitar to learn how to play the guitar. If you're not playing the guitar and if you don't um, accept being bad for a while, you're not going to get any better. You need to accept being bad for a while before you get better. That's okay. And you know what? Sometimes we are afraid to take action. And I see this with like, I have a lot of amazing people and clients that have all of these gifts and abilities and they want to show up on social media and share their magic, but they are so afraid to make videos or to share their arts or to share their singing, to share their music, to share their activations, to share their readings, to share their energy work, to share whatever. And I'm like, you will only become confident when, once you start doing it for a while. You need to be consistent. You need to keep showing up. And you know what? Most people, if you look back into all our first videos, they are kind of cringy. Even the most successful, no confident, natural people speaking, maybe in the beginning they were really bad. And maybe they weren't, but most people, when they start something, it's not that good. Whether it's showing up on social media and making videos, where it's playing a new instrument, learning how to play a sport, speak a new langu language, whatever it is. That's the whole point. And that's what makes this life so much fun is that if you already knew how to speak all the languages and like play all the games and do all the sports and do all the things, life wouldn't become exciting because like you, you would already have mastered it all. So there wouldn't be like an evolution. There wouldn't be like this back and forth. There wouldn't be any like excitement and grip to it. There wouldn't, there wouldn't be contrast. The contrast is what makes it fun and exciting. So my invitation for you today is to just think for yourself first. And not, don't think for yourself because I'm saying so. Please don't. Please don't do something because someone else is saying it. You just do you. But seriously, think for yourself and then figure out what is something that you want to try or that you want to do or that you want to become better at that you're not taking action on, that you know you need to take action on, but you're delaying and postponing because you don't feel confident enough or you don't feel ready enough. What is something you can do? Drum roll for trigger warning. What is something you can do today? Today towards that. Will you record your first video on social media? Will you make your first YouTube video? Will you share about your services and your offers and your magic? Will you go on an adventure? Will you talk with someone new? Will you start playing the instrument? Will you sign up for the classes? Will you walk a different path when you go on your walk today? Will you stop reading the book and put the book down and actually take action on it? Will you stop consuming other people's content and create your own? Will you make a decision for yourself? Will you show up for yourself and for others, for your business, for your family, for your friends, whatever it is, in a different way? Even if you don't feel fully ready yet, but will you do it today? What can you do and what will you do? Don't do it for me. Do it for you because I am doing it for me. You can't do it for me. I'm doing my part for me. Thank you. You do it for you because only you can do it for you. Don't do it for me. Do it for you. Will you watch this video just as another piece of information that you're consuming mindlessly without taking any action, without bringing the knowledge from the mind into the body or will it just stay there? And you know what? When we consume too much information and it just sits here, it becomes overwhelming, irrelevant and it starts dissipating and evaporating after a while. 
because you're not using it. It's energy and information that you're not using it. And so you think you need to watch another podcast. You think you need to learn even more. You think you need to know how it's all done before you start doing it. You think you need to know all the steps of the way before you start taking the first step. So you consume more information. Stop it. Stop consuming information and start creating your own. Stop consuming information from other people and start taking action on the information you already consume that resonates for you. Stop consuming information. Start applying it. It's that simple. That has been the greatest shift in my life. To stop consuming other people's information and take action on what I already have that resonates. So that's my invitation for you. Will you keep watching other people while postponing and delaying your own action? Because let's be real, like, you know how people do like New Year's resolutions and stuff like that? How are, how are yours? Is your life the way you would like it to be? Because if not, you need to make some changes and you need to get uncomfortable and you need to take action. Hmm. You're waiting on the universe while meanwhile the universe is waiting on you. And you're sitting on all this potential that is fully ready to be actualized through your action. But because you're waiting and postponing, it waits and postpones on you. So what will you do today? And what will you do in the next few days, the few weeks and few months and few years? Will you stay the same and keep waiting? Or do you actually want more out of you, more out of life? And therefore you're willing to give more, to take more action. It's your choice. But one year from now, what will matter? That you kept waiting? Just imagine yourself one year from now. What would be more worth it? To keep waiting and postponing or to take action, even if you're scared, even if it's cringy, even if you don't feel ready, even if you don't feel confident, even if a lot of people are doing it, even if no one else is doing it. One year from now, what will matter the most? That you did do it or that you waited for it to somehow happen? That you started even before feeling ready and comfortable or that you're ready? Or that you waited to feel ready and comfortable. It's your choice and it's always your choice. And this choice is happening 24 cyber. And it's up to us to make those decisions and to take action. And the more action we take, the more results we get. And the more we postpone and delay, the more our dreams, our desires, our goals are also postponed and delayed. Because you think you're waiting on the universe, but the universe is waiting on you. So what are you waiting for? Because you're literally just waiting on you. And this is why inside the activation membership and in my coaching, whether it's group coaching or private coaching, I always, always include somatic practices, meaning going out of your mind and into your body and taking action right away taking action okay you watch this video we did a coaching session what will you do today what is the action that you're taking because there's no point coming to private coaching with me group coaching me or joining the activation membership if you're not taking action there's literally no point don't come for that because it's not entertainment coaching it's not entertainment activation for something to actually be an activation you need to it needs to be alive within you. It needs to be embodied. It needs to move you. If it's not moving you, it, it hasn't come down from your mind into your body. If you're not moving, the information you have in your mind has not come down from your head into your body. 
So it's not embodied. And that's why you don't have the results or the desires or the dreams that you would like. Because it's still here. And here it's a potentiality. Here is a maybe. Here's is a when. Here is now. Here is whether I feel ready or not, whether I feel comfortable or not, whether I'm cringy or not, whether I have anxiety or not, I show up. I move, I adapt, I show up, I show up. So for all the people who come into the activation membership thinking that you're just going to watch videos, that's just not it. That's just not what we do. We take action. Because taking action is the only thing that will actually change your life. It's the only thing that will actually activate you. If it's only here, it's not activating you. It's not. It's like blowing something from one of your ears and it going out the other. To be activated is to be embodied. To be activated is to be taking action. Even if you're not ready, even if it's cringy, even if you're afraid, even if you're uncomfortable, even if you don't feel confident. Whatever. The more you show up, the more natural those, thing, those things become, the easier it gets. So this is why I merged my, my business is like a mix of spirituality, self-development, somatic work and entrepreneurship. There's like, there's this balance of all these energetics because just being very spiritual and having very pure intentions and wanting to help the world without taking action on it doesn't do anything for you or for anyone else. Creating a business where you have such a good intention to help your clients, but then you're not visible because you're not showing up and you're not selling and you're not sharing what you do. Doesn't help anyone, doesn't help you, doesn't help anyone else. Too much spirituality without self-development can become too woo and esoteric and ethereal and not grounded. And this whole thing merges into embodiment. Embodiment means it comes out of your mind into your body. It's both in your mind and in your body because if it's just in your head, it's just a potentiality. It only becomes actualized when it's alive within you, when it's who you are, when it's who you become, when it's how you move, it's how you're taking action. That means embodiment. It's who you are being. That does not happen just in your head or in your pure heart and your pure intentions. It's in your whole body. It's in everything you do. This is what I wanted to share with you. And if you want to join us inside the activation membership, send me a DM or comment activation uh, in the comments of this video. And I will send you the link. Again, this is the place where, for you to get activated, meaning you receive information, you share your own and you take action on it. And if you want to work deeper with me on spiritual life coaching, grounded, embodied spiritual life coaching and business coaching, again, embodied spiritual business coaching group or one-on-one, -on -one, send me a DM and I'm here for you. But that's the thing. I'm not just going to be there saying, yeah, you're worthy, yeah, you're amazing, yeah, you can do it. I'm actually going to propel you and activate you into taking action. Because that's the only way you can truly become alive in your message. That you become fully embodied in who, in who you came here to be. So let's freaking go. I'm going. Are you coming with me? Are you joining us? Or will you just keep watching and waiting for something for a sign of the universe telling you, go, go, go. Like you're just watching and waiting. Or will you come join us and take action and see your life change to a whole other level by the end of the first month and by the end of the year? Can you imagine the massive impact that we will have, that we will create the momentum, the, the true activation when we actually take action? It's your choice, my dear. This is what I wanted to share with you. And I will see you on the next one. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you.